Okay, so today I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to produce an album cover using Adobe Photoshop. At the time of this recording, we are using Adobe Photoshop 2021, but most of the settings I'm going to use today should be in whichever Photoshop you are uh, currently using. So what I've done to get this screen is gone to File, New, and you're greeted with this new document screen. Now, the front cover of a CD um, is uh, 120 millimeters. So let's just type 120, so you highlight whichever default number is there, 120 millimeters by height, 120 millimeters. Make sure the resolution is 300, and the rest of it is fine uh, as it is. So you hit Create. Now you are greeted with a, a square. What I've done is we've take, got two photographs that we've taken in class. Now I've um, blurred out their identity. Um, so what we have is ideally you want to take your photograph on a nice clear background but it wasn't the case with this uh, student but not to worry Photoshop 2021 has a feature called if you hold down click magic wand tool click and hold the mouse and press quick selection tool now if I select just click once on the mouse and then go up here and press select subject now uh, you'll get this uh, message, this will discard your current selection, just hit OK. And then you'll see Photoshop thinking now, it's trying to work out where the subject is and how to delete the background. Now this has done an excellent job of doing that, so this student's got very lucky. Um, what you need to do now is um, tap on this add a, add a mask tool down here. And instantly you have this uh, background that's been taken away. Now you can, you know it's transparent because it's got this checkered background. Now I want you to go to the Move tool. So click on the Move tool. Now every time you log in at school, uh, Auto Select and Show Transform Controls will be switched off. So make sure they are switched on. And then you're going to move your, click and hold to move your subject and place them in your album cover uh, photo. Hit OK. OK, now this appears very, very large. So the picture was quite high resolution compared to the album cover. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out. So I'm pressing a command on a Mac or control on a PC and the minus key, which is next to zero on the keyboard. So you can see that the photo is shown, shown how large the photo is by this blue bounding box. I'm going to go to one of the corners. I'm going to resize now Photoshop 2021 you can it doesn't stretch the photo um, you can freely uh, move it and it locks the proportions which is excellent so we want to place the um, artist shall we say in position now I'm going to press command or control and the number zero so we've placed our subject on a plain background so what you could do now is Double click on the background and then you can select the color that you might want, a dark green for example. Um, and then you can press uh, Command Backspace or Alt Backspace to fill the background, background with that color. Okay, so that's a very, very basic tool. I'm going to link uh, below the other, there's some other help videos that show you how to create a gradient background. But you can also get a different photo from the internet. Uh, and place that in the background, but make sure you pay attention to the layers. So your artist is at the top and your background layer is, is towards the bottom. So think of it like the layers in, in, in um, other applications such as Microsoft Word. Okay, so what happens if, let's have a look at this other picture. So this is a photo again, um, student's identity has been um, obscured. Uh, what do we do when there's lots going on? So let's have a look how Photoshop deals with this. So when we go down to Quick Selection Tool, we hit Select Subject. And it's, and it's taken longer to think now because there's a lot more colors going on. So what you can see here is it's done a really, really good job at going around the subject. But there's a little bit on the leg where it's confused because it's really dark there. Uh, Photoshop thinks it's part of his, um, his trousers. So again, we're going to click here a mask and we're going to move this subject again onto our album cover okay now let's turn off the first example we used 
So we are going to zoom out, which is Command minus or Control minus if you're using a PC. And we're going to move our subject here. Okay, now this student wanted to be sat on a, um, a sports car, so he's uh, ready for the car to be inserted. However, you can see there are some bits that haven't quite masked, which is which is fine. Okay, so we're going to clean those up. So you have to make sure you are on the mask layer. Select a brush. Okay, brush, if you can see the shortcut there is B. Select brush and you have to use either a black brush or a white brush. Now I'm just pressing plus or minus on the keyboard and that should be changing the size of my um, of my brush. It's not quite doing it today. So I'm going to manually uh, make the brush size bigger. Now if you notice there, I used a white brush and it's painted that part of the image of the image in. We want to switch to a black brush and we want to click Okay, to get some more detail, you might want to zoom in on there. Um, I'm going to press Command or Control minus. Now I'm pressing Spacebar on the keyboard to be able to move my position. Uh, again, so this brush might be too big, so I'm going to make the brush slightly smaller. And I'm going to uh, delete some of the chair. If you want to be more precise, I would like you to press the polygonal lasso tool. So again, I'm going to link below the annual way of this. If photo does not mask at all using the quick tool, um, it takes a lot, but you have ultimate control uh, of your image. So you select a portion there, press B on the keyboard, and then what you can do is that ensures that it doesn't go past that line. Press M or rectangular marquee tool, click outside of that, press Command or Control minus, to zoom back out. Now this photograph is uh, ready to place the car. So I'm going to go and get a photo of a car now uh, and place that into position. Okay, so I found a photograph on the internet. Now this student had a different photograph of a car in mind. So his pose uh, matches the car that he found, but I found someone that I think is quite similar. Um, However, you will see that his pose is probably on a, a car with a lower bonnet. So what I did was using the um, quick selection tool, I found a car. I quickly masked out the background using the same method I've just shown you. Um, and then you need to press the move tool to get your subject in position. So it kind of looks okay there to make sure they're interacting um, with um, the car. You can also do some cool things to the car um, and to your subject as well. Everything that you need to do to adjust the image is an image adjustment and you can work through all of these um, adjustments that you can make. So you can do cool things like, um, where can we find that? You can adjust the hue and saturation of the car, for example, if you really like the car, if you're using the car, um, you can adjust the hue and change the color of the car. So I can turn that car blue purple, uh, pink, I quite like that color, looks quite nice. Oh, go back to the original. So we're gonna hit okay. All right, so now what I need you to do is to uh, do some typesetting. Now I do have another video on this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it within this video as well. I would suggest going to a website such as thefont.com and downloading a font that you like uh, and installing it. There's another, again, there's a link below on how to do that. Um, but to typeset, you need to press the horizontal type tool and click anywhere on the page. Now, the, the, oh, the writing has come up ridiculously big, 142 points. So I'm going to lower that to 30. Um, yours might come up incredibly small. So make sure you've got auto select and show transform controls. Um, resize your text. So I'm going to hit return on the keyboard. I want to highlight my text. Let's call this album something like generic, like such as the artist. Okay, so get your text into position. Okay, get your text into position. You can, again, you can resize it. If you want some more finite controls, um, you can go to window and select 
character. And then you can do things like, if, if I wanted the word the to be smaller, I could press return here, I could highlight the two, I could make sure in paragraph it's left aligned, for example. So I can do something like that, make it bigger. Now, for me, the word the is a bit overpowering. Um, so I might go to character, highlight this. Now I'm pressing the arrow down key along with shift. Okay, and I might want to press um, space bar to bring the word the in a bit. It's okay, so play around with that. I've also, now it's remembered my default settings, uh, but your default settings is, is auto. So when you type uh, your artist's name, if it's on two lines, there'll be quite a large gap. So what I would like you to do is play with the, the kerning. Okay, so if I change the kerning to six, you'll see right, one's overlapping the other. So we need to increase that six to, um, let's say around about 40. All right, so you've typed um, a font that you like. Now it's time to make it look uh, quite interesting. Um, and to do that, we need to double click on the layer of the text, double click around about here and then you'll get all of the different layer styles. So you can do um, in a stroke, um, you can add an outline on that, um, but bearing in mind, just selecting the tick box, puts a default, um, it applies the default of that, of that said uh, effect. So in stroke, if I change the size of the stroke to something smaller, you will see that I've applied a nine pixel stroke in a blue color. So double click on the blue and then you can change it to anything else. Now this is the professional version of Photoshop. So there's going to be lots and lots and lots of adjustments that you can make. So you can do color overlay if you wanted, or you can do a gradient overlay. And then again, play around with the gradient. You can add a bevel and emboss, for example, and play around with that. Let's do um, outer bevel. Let's see how that works. So emboss there. That looks pretty good, but I might play around with the the size, so it's going to look different, oh that looks yucky, uh, it's going to look different depending on the font that you install, so if I put a stroke around it, like a white stroke, um, okay, not my best work, but you get the, you get the idea, so play around with your font, if you want to do something else, if you want to add like a parental advisory ex explicit content, I'm going to, let's get that, so you can find the sticker online and now you should be able to drag and drop that onto your album cover resize it and then we can put it somewhere like bottom right perhaps i don't think it ever goes top right or perhaps bottom left well you figure it out okay so by using those three things so you need to Make a 120 millimeter by 120 millimeter square. You need to locate the photo that you took and quick mask it. You need to decide which background you want, whether it's a color or an image from the internet. And then if you find that um, easy, then I would like you to place and mask some other elements for your artist to uh, interact with. When you are done, please save as PDF. So go to file, save as PDF and upload to the shared area that I'm going to provide for you. As always, any questions, please let me know. Thank you.